Hi everyone, my name is Trey Brown. I'm going to teach you today about how to play with not good, but great tone. Uh, the first stage is what, how I'm going to start is with, this is when you're just starting off and you're just playing your first few notes or you're in your first couple years of playing. But the thing that's important to do is to, to really just play, play your instrument really. Because the more you play it, the more comfortable you'll get. And the more comfortable you'll get, the better you'll start sounding. So, a good way to do this, there's a couple of exercises that are specifically meant for tone. But, really, a lot of stuff will help you. But, one of the ones that are my favorite, is one of my favorites, is the Remington series. And the way that one works, is you start on a, a low C. And then you'll go down uh, one step, down up to a B. And you go back up to C. And you go back down to a B flat, and you'll keep going down chromatically until you hit all the way down to a low F sharp, which is one of our, which is basically our lowest note on the trumpet. So let me show you. Now, when you're playing that one, it might be best to go even slower than that because the slower you play long tones, which is what one of these exercises is, is the better. Because the point of a long tone is so that you can hear your tone and you can adjust it. And over time, the more you play them, the better and better you'll start sounding. But it's important that you're always listening to yourself when you're playing long tones because that increases your speed at uh, developing your tone. But next I would say, on like the second stage, this is after you got a couple of years maybe, um, it's really getting a practice routine. Uh, this can also help in the early stages, but I know it's kind of hard. But getting a really good practice routine, especially with trumpet, is really important because as trumpet players we need a lot of strength in our chop area and if you're taking whole weeks off it's really gonna hurt you uh, it's gonna make you sound a lot worse if you're practicing every single day it's gonna help you create a consistent sound that will continually get better the more and more you play but so this is like a really important thing that uh, you get a really good routine of playing. It do doesn't even have to be long. Like 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day is perfect. You can do that. I used to play for about an hour a day in high school. That worked just fine. It's just whatever works for you. Do not go over the top. Don't don't play for eight plus hours a day because I don't. You're probably not at the stage where you're ready for that. <laughs> um, but moving on to like, so that that's how you get good set, like good tone. But moving on past then, when you get a lots of experience under your belt, um, moving on to gray tone, which is let's say stage three. Um, the best thing you can do is listen to other professional or just listen to professional players. So you can listen to Chris Martin or uh, Allison Balsam. There's lots of people out there who play really, really well. And if you sounded like one of them, you could also make a lot of money like they do. So if you want to move on to great tone, you're going to have to listen to them and try and model your sound off of theirs. Now, you don't have to do it exactly, but do your version of their sound, if that makes sense.